All right, this morning let's take a look at uh, what we think is liable, liable to happen here. We're going to look at just yesterday on a one minute chart just to see if we can detect a trend. And it does appear as if uh, a, a trend is uh, still developing. If we look at the, the highs here on the premium, uh, it did look like we were moving up. Uh, however, right toward the close, right toward the close, it started moving the other way. Now the highs, on the other hand, 318, 315, 316, 309, uh, again, a little higher high here. Uh, that suggests an upward trend. This maybe uh, contradicts that just a bit. Um, the overnight market uh, uh, dropped a little bit from the uh, close, and we'll show you that uh, here uh, right now. Now here's what it actually looks like before the uh, opening bell. We're about uh, 10 minutes away. It's a very evenly distributed uh, profile, the TPO. But as we've mentioned in other videos, we've got a lot of unfinished business down here, in here, We've got a very poor, poorly formed profile from the previous uh, day activity. This is the overnight activity. And uh, we don't have much going on here. Again, poorly formed even over here during the day. Uh, most of these charts are all fairly poorly formed. There's no real runoff in terms of volume below these levels that there normally should be. Okay. So um, it's a it's a bit difficult to know exactly what direction we're going to head at the open because things are so evenly distributed right now. But the premium tends to suggest that we're in a rally mode. So likely we're going to try to tag the high up here from yesterday. But at the same time, we've got a good potential for a short. It's, uh, it's somewhat of a coin flip here. Now 86.75 was the high in the overnight market. Eighty-nine twenty-five late in the day yesterday. So if we move up, we're going to be very cautious about getting much beyond this level. But yesterday, as you can see, and yesterday was a Tuesday. Uh, we failed Monday uh, to hit the initial balance. Uh, level that didn't happen until after the close and on Tuesday again failed to hit the initial balance quite unusual but we've seen this before uh, so two days in a row generally speaking doesn't go three where we fail and today is a Wednesday. It is the highest probability day for hitting the projected uh, standard deviation mark. But whether that's going to be in terms of a rally or a sell off remains to be seen. So we'll come back in a few minutes. Oh, and one other thing where the open looks like it's going to be very close to where we. We're at the close of yesterday. The close is right about there. So it's going to be very, very close. So that would tend to suggest that the move 
from yesterday is incomplete, and I would have to say that it is based on a red day pattern. The low of the morning in the first half hour. High of the day is in the last half hour, or in the overnight market, if it fails. Well, it failed, and it failed in the overnight market, leaving us really no other choice but to see the high take place in the morning of the following day, which is today. So there's another reason to, to anticipate uh, a rally here, failing of this pattern. Okay. 83 and a half is the low value area, projected down to 83. And here we have the open. The upper value area on the ES yesterday, or pardon me, on the INX, was at about 90 and a half. Pushing up real quickly, like left some unfinished business down here. That should result in a retracement. So we may be looking to, to get a short out of this. We're taking a short position now.
premium is really beginning to tail, tail off here. You can see the divergence right in here. It's good for the short. All of this needs to be repaired, giving us a good basis for seeing the move down. So we're going to expand this now so you can see it a little better. 85 is still the POC. And we'll come back in a minute. And indeed, you can see the area of repair. Got a good half a point drop. Now, ordinarily, this is a good place to consider a long trade, but I think this morning what we're going to see is a, a further drop below this level. Uh, if you look at the premium, this is a pretty low, pretty big drop in here. And what I, and if you uh, compare that um, really to where the premium was for the bulk of yesterday, we are trading or the premium is uh, lower. Let's look at the big picture here. See how low we are here? Even these lows in here when we were down at that level which let's just So 84, well, last time we were there, was over here, and we're much lower, much lower than we were. So that tells me we're probably going to continue on down. Now you see the little bounce in here that took place, but we've got repair work to be done down here. No volume. So stay short.
Now the premium has not dropped. But then again, neither, neither has the INX. INX has to drop if the premium is going to drop. And there we have it. Now the key is whether the premium will continue to drop. And at the moment, it's not doing so. But we still have areas of repair that we see taking place in here. It looks like we're going to move all the way down. There we go. Now, again, tendency is to bounce when we get down here to this level. We've just dropped below the POC on the, INX, uh, on the ES. POC on the INX is up here. So we've got some nice profits in here. And now we've dropped below the POC from yesterday. And we're liable to get a little bit of a bounce in here. It's a slightly higher low here. Yeah, this is going to bounce a little bit. Eighty-three seventy-five is the low value area on the ES. We're past that on the INX. So again, another reason. Expect a bounce in here. And we're out. There's the TPOC right in here. And looks like we're I'm going to go a bit lower here. So we let's take a look at where we may be headed. Okay, so we get a little more volume in here. This was very low volume yesterday during this rally up. And we're kind of making up for it here. So it would seem to suggest to me that our target at the moment should be down here 
couple of points below where we are because that's the first area first area where we begin to see uh, more and we just move it up to the uh, TBOC from the current day and then we have all this area of repair below here so it's looking since we failed we failed to get up any higher okay that's a good reason to think <laughs> this thing will continue on down and certainly uh, another couple of points below where we are uh, is in order and once once we break that then then it's a pretty good sign with the premium as low as it is uh, that will continue on down that would be our opinion at the moment now see the area in here of repair this should move higher there we go for value area in here it's a good target for the previous POC in here which is just a little bit lower Now you see how we made it to the upper value area here. We have not made it up here. This is still a goal. Likely this will push higher. But the premium, there we go, there we go. Still have some area of repair in here as well. So could go up. There we go. Yep. There we go. And then formerly right up here to 9067, roughly another quarter of a point. There's a significant divergence in here. significant divergence so we want to get short definitely get short Well, I don't know. I think we're going to just fill in this uh, area of repair. And that's what that looks like. Volume-based uh, TPO here serves as a potential area for for more buying to push this higher. So 
And there we go. Right back to the top. The premium is only moderately higher here, um, as you can see, but we're not even at the 337 level, so I don't, I don't see any reason to not short this. Stay short. Premium is up just a bit. But what I don't want to see happen is a big pop up. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're gonna go back up a little bit here. We got nothing on the premium in here that's showing that this is coming uh, down, other than the fact that we're that the highs are just not high enough to sustain this rally up. Now we might try one more time, but I kind of doubt it now. Okay, we'll come back after it. it makes up its mind what it's going to do here. Okay. Look at that big spike down here. Barely made it to the top. There was just nothing there. Nothing there in the premium. And down we come.
Now, the threshold chart looks rather busy, but what we really want to be able to do from this is not have to wait to find out what the read on the premium is. That's why we set this up to quickly give us the, uh, the read. Uh, some of the information we're not going to pay much attention to. But that which is in yellow uh, from the, uh, the last major pivot, these are higher highs. Okay, these are higher highs. The green are lower highs. Ah, we're moving back up. That surprises me. That surprises me. But in any case, we've got this uh, big signal that we're coming down. And incidentally, on the other chart, as you can see, we're, we're, we're right there at the uh, TPOC. And it doesn't want to move below that. But it will. Because you've got this area here of low volume. So it may just need to go up a little higher before it decides to come down. But come down it will. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Now let's just take a quick read on the uh, premium here. Because this is telling us something. Now you notice how we've tagged these highs here and right in here. And you look at what the premium is doing. The premium has gone higher. All right. So we would expect that that price will be tested. And if you're not short yet, you want to pretty much you want to wait. You want to wait until that price is tested again, you know, before uh, you jump into a short. Because if you look at where the premium has been, all right, 361, 337, 353, all right, 347 is lower, that's true, but it's higher compared to where it was here. Now let's, I think that uh, that read is maybe not quite correct, and if you've watched some of our other videos, you know what I'm talking about, let's just be verified, yeah, 350, it's a little, little higher, and then 347. This, this is higher still, is what we're saying. 53, 50, 47, that's all going higher. This suggests this will pop up a little bit more. And then what we want to see is more divergence. If we go higher, or even if we tag that high. Okay, here we are. We're still a little bit higher on the premium. Still a little bit higher. We're back even again. 347 is that high. We're at three. We were just at 347 again. We need to get lower than that. Three fifty six. That could be it. Good time to no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Now.
And that divot level was not very much lower on that last pivot. Just by a hair's breadth, but not much. Usually we want to see something a little bit more than that. So this may not work. No, I don't like what I see. It's not dropping enough. And we'll come back. Now, in spite of the fact that we have uh, not as yet moved lower, the fact is, and we should have taken this into consideration, we need to we need to move higher than 89 to finish out the red day pattern, which we talked about earlier this morning. So while this drop in here is not entirely divergent and is therefore not a naked bar, it does nevertheless suggest a future, a future drop And we've just got to get back to 89. Now we're going to be <laughs> very much divergent when we get there, unless the, the premium really corrects. But we're, we're way below where we were uh, yesterday. So let's, uh, let's reverse. We're going, to, we're going to be long in here. We've gotten out of our short trade. We're going to go ahead and go long. We are long. Um, not a very good price, but we are. And we've got to wait until we get back up here. Okay, here we go.
I've made several attempts uh, at 89. 89 and a quarter is the target. Uh, we've um, failed, as you can see, thus far. We're continuing to fail. The pattern is uh, very predictable, and it would just not seem logical that uh, we will fail to make that. In fact, as we've mentioned before, the IB projection is better than 90% on a Wednesday, and we are in a rally anticipating uh, uh, new highs. And for that good reason, we have to say that uh, it only makes sense for us to anticipate that we will go back up there um, in a significant way and, and break that high even more than, uh, considerably more uh, than just a simple 89 and a quarter. Now the IB projection shows us uh, at about 90, 75, 90, 50. Let's just make this real clear. Just below 9075. So certainly 9050. Not a whole lot higher, but uh, definitely higher. All right, that's our target. And we may not be able to finish this video due to time constraints, but that is our target. None the less. Okay, another big uh, drop on the uh, premium here. So it looks like we're going to come down before we go back up. But you've uh, you've seen our logic, you've seen our target, and let's take a look at just the profile here before we finish up. Yeah, we could quite possibly come all the way back down here before we run up. But that's all the time we have for this morning. So that will finish up our video. You still, we still have the target. And this is a, yeah, this is a, uh, this is not what we would anticipate in the in the formation here of the. Uh, the way the uh, profile is forming. Every good reason to expect this thing will continue on up. So we'll wrap it up on that point. And I'm Rod Kusin and Spoo Man for Risk.